Hey everyone, I'm Colleen with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. Some people have the gift of inspiring and bringing people together. Blessed Pauline Mary Jericot was such a person. Born in France in 1799, Pauline grew up the seventh child of a silk factory owner in Lyon. When she turned 15, she entered society and enjoyed a life of vanity and lukewarm faith. But at the age of 17, God convicted her heart through a Lenten homily about the vices of vanity. And that same year, she gave up her secular lifestyle, made a vow of virginity, and became a member of the Third Order of St. Dominic. Inspired by a devotion to the Eucharist and a desire to console the heart of Jesus for the ingratitude of humanity, she formed a union of prayer among the 200 women who worked in her family's silk factory. Then, one day, she learned of the financial needs of the mission work in China. This is when her powers of inspiration inspiring others really took off. Going to a women's prayer group, she asked them to offer daily prayers and weekly contributions to help the missions. Each woman was encouraged to invite 10 other people to do the same. This effort was so successful in helping the mission in China that other French foreign missions sought her group for financial help. Today, her program is known as the Pontifical Society for the Propagation of Faith, which is dedicated to helping fund missionary efforts worldwide under the Pope's authority. Talk about making an impact. But Pauline's efforts did not end there. In 1826, she recognized a falling away from the faith and lackluster spirituality in her fellow Frenchmen. So she turned to Mother Mary and developed the Association of the Living Rosary calling upon her friends to form groups of 15 where each person from the group would pray one decade of the traditional 15-decade rosary every day. She understood that most people found it difficult to pray an entire rosary themselves, but praying a daily decade was much more realistic. Once again, her program was so successful that by the time of her death in 1862, there were more than 150,000 groups. Today, there are nearly 12 million members worldwide. Unfortunately, towards the end of her life, Pauline made a bad business deal that left her in financial ruin, and she spent the rest of her life in total poverty, suffering from the feeling of humiliation for letting down her investors and the people she sought to help. But this seemed only to have fulfilled her promise to the Lord at the time of her conversion all those years ago. In a journal, she had written that Christ asked her, would you like to suffer and die for me? She wrote in response, I offered myself as a victim to the divine majesty. Pauline lived her life on fire for Christ. She used her talent of bringing people together under common mission and furthered the kingdom of God tenfold. She enjoyed the trust and love of all those whom she helped. In the end, she suffered disgrace, betrayal, and abandonment by friends. She suffered in a way like Christ. This may not be the warm and fuzzy ending that we want to hear, but it is the authentic reality of a life lived abandoned to God. Blessed Pauline Mary Jericot, pray for us.